Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, this is ironically not my friend, this little Berg uh, Vector friend 77540 lock. Um, why? Well, I guess I will be forced to show you why it's not my friend in a second. It will make some sense. Um, it's a little five pin lock. Uh, it's got quite a cool little keyway here. Um, a little bit more paracentric. Well, it's not. Yeah, you probably get a 10,000, 12,000 pick maybe up there, but it's, 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 it is paracentric to a degree. Um, it's quite a, quite a nice warding in the keyway. It's a bit better than sort of standard stuff. There's key edge on, and it opens up nicely. Um, so yeah, let's just pick it, grab a vise, and um, uh, throw it in and give it a pick. So we're in the vise, and I've got some tools to pick this. So I've got a uh, 1.2 millimeter multi-pick tension tool which goes in the bottom of the lock very tightly, very nice. A Sparrows uh, monkey paw which is going to be very useful um, and when I can't reach uh, pins higher up I'm going to try and wriggle onto uh, the top warding ledge with this Sparrows hook in 20 thousandths. So uh, yeah let's, let's give it a go. Let's see where we are. So four, three, just click there and two. Uh, Oh, four again, and that all feels kind of picked. I'm going to go in now with this uh, short hook, and there we go. That was a pin five. The only one we didn't pick, I think, was pin one, uh, and I might have picked it with the pick shank itself. So let me just take that back out of the vise. Now, why is this lock not my friend? Well. If you look at the bottom, you might be mistaken for thinking that you can gut this lock. So the first thing I did was I went in, undid the screw, which came out a little bit short, as you can see, a little tiny one. I dropped the core out. Uh, where's the key? Just grab a key. That'll help me drop that out. And then as soon as I did that, just put that down there, you can see, um, what might have gone wrong on the inside. So there's a whole load of things which went wrong here. You can see that the springs already uh, come out of the bottom there like that on one of the uh, locking poles, which um, I can just, I can probably just lift out actually. So I'll go, uh, maybe not. It's sort of in there though, just rocking back and forth. So I've got spring. Um, also what, what can come out of here, if you just press down the shackle a little bit and tap is there's a, and another little pin which can come out, which actually holds the whole shackle um, in. So that's a shackle retaining spring. And after all of that all falling out and being a real pain to put back together, you can't actually gut this. And I spent probably about 20 minutes trying to figure out where all these things sort of came from. So I didn't realize where this even came from. There's actually a small hole right on the inside, which uh, it's so dark in there, um, I couldn't see it. But yeah, this, this core you can't undo. You notice there's a five pin lock, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six pin chambers, which means that this pin chamber here is actually a solid pin, um, which goes down into uh, a, a cut on the outside of the core and it stops it rotating. That's why it only rotates this far. So it only rotates about, mm, what, 75 degrees maybe. And that's because of a, a pin, which is obviously um, inaccessible in any way to, uh, to get out. So. All I can say for sure is you saw counter rotation. We know there's probably at least one or two single, um, sorry, standard pins and all the rest are probably um, spools, but there could only be two or three spools in there. It's very hard to tell, but it's definitely a mix of spools and standards, nothing too special in there. So there you go. That's the not very friendly Berg Wachter uh, Friend 77540 padlock. And now I suppose I've got to spend the next 10 minutes trying to um, piece it all back together. Ugh. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.